Now, things have been a little dicey uh, with North Korea, speaking of international intrigue, what with their repeated missile tests. But there is no need to panic because this country has some of the most experienced diplomats in the world. Also, we have Dennis Rodman, <laughs> who flew into North Korea again today. So this is basketball diplomacy. Is it on behalf of President Trump? He's spoken to President Trump at all? Well, I'm pretty sure he's pretty much uh, happy at the fact that I'm over here okay. trying to uh, accomplish something that, uh, that we, very, we, we both need. What? Something you both need? You mean a distraction from the Russian investigation? <laughs> Wait, does that, does that mean Dennis Rodman met Sergei Kislyak for a secret game of one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> so, I like Kislyak dunking on Rodman. That's pretty good. Rodman's a good defender. So, yeah. what secret funding back channel did Dennis Rodman use to get to North Korea this time? He told us on Twitter, I'm back thanks to my sponsor, Potcoin.com. <laughs> Yes, Potcoin, which according to its website is an ultra secure digital cryptocurrency for the marijuana industry. <laughs> Dude, what if there was an imaginary money we could use to buy weed? <laughs> also, what if we sent Dennis Rodman to North Korea? Of course, don't touch that now. Of course, <laughs> hey. this is not the first time a diplomatic mission had a private sponsorship. I and mean, who can forget World War II's Yalta Conference, brought to you by Little Zippy's Cocaine Buzz Tonic. <laughs> Little Zippy's, it's a blitzkrieg on your brain. So why does Potcoin care so much about North Korea? Well, marijuana enthusiasts have been touting the country as a stoner's paradise where cannabis is legal. A stoner's paradise? Really? You might be able to get high there, but good luck when you get the munchies. <laughs> I hope you like bark. 